In this video, I'm going to go through an example of using PRIMS algorithm this time. So we've gone through cross schools, uh, this time PRIMS. And with PRIMS, what you need to do is you need to know where you're going to start. So PRIMS starts from a certain vertex. Um, it doesn't matter where you start. Uh, you know, if you were just doing this by yourself, it doesn't matter where you start using PRIMS. Um, it will give you the minimum spanning tree, it will give you an optimal solution. However, in the exam, it's likely that they would tell you where to start. Okay? Um, that makes it easier for examiners to check your working. So let's say we start from A. Let's say we were told to start from A, uh, that's where we're going to go. Okay? So, the way that this works is starting from A, you look at all of the edges coming out of A, and you select the shortest one. Okay? So, we've got 9, 12, 9, 11, and 8. So, 8 is the smallest, so that will be selected. And I write down A, F, and in brackets, 8. Okay? So, that's the first edge I have selected. Right, now that you have joined A and F to your tree, what you are now going to do is you're going to look at all of the edges coming out of both A and F, and you are going to select the shortest one, or the one with least weight, okay? Um, that doesn't create a cycle, of course. So, we've got... 9, 12, 9, 15, 12, and 11 to consider. So it's either this 9 or this 9, and it doesn't matter which one I pick. So I'm going to go with this 9 here. So A, B with 9. I now look at all of the edges coming out of A, B, and F, the ones that I have connected to the tree. And I pick the one with least weight that won't cause a cycle. So I want to connect the next vertex. Now, 15 will never get picked, OK, uh, because it would create a cycle. So create a cycle there. So we've got 10, 12, 9, 11, 12, or 15. Well, the next smallest is the 9, AD, so that's all good. That won't create a cycle. So AD with 9 is my next one. I now look at all of the edges coming out of A, B, D, and F. And I pick the next shortest one. So the next shortest one is CD. That is the next shortest edge coming out of any of the vertices that I have currently connected to the tree. So CD is the next one. Okay, so writing down the edges as you pick them is incredibly important. Do not change the order, right? The order that you are picking them is crucial. Okay, that is essential. That is showing that you are using the algorithm. I am now looking for the shortest weight, uh, or the one with least weight, coming out of A, B, C, D, or F, okay, that doesn't create a cycle. And the one that connects E would be A, E. So A, E with 11. And so I have now connected all of the vertices. Okay, we have a tree, and so I am done. So the minimum spanning tree, total length, is 8 plus 9 plus 9 plus 8 plus 11, so 45. And if I was asked to draw the tree, let's do that. So notice how I draw a separate network, okay? I don't just go, right, here it is. Here's my minimum spanning tree. I actually physically draw it, okay? So we've got, um, we've got the CD there, haven't we? So CD, that was A, B, C, D, E, and F. So we've got the CD with 8. Uh, AF was 8. 
We've got AB9. We've got AD9. And we've got AE11. So that is my minimum spanning tree drawn. So this is the list of edges in the order that they were chosen using Prim's algorithm. Here is the total length. Here is the tree as drawn.